You know, at first, I think a lot of us felt kind of tortured by being locked up at home. And and what I've figured out in the last couple of weeks is it, it's up to me how I look at this. For the first two weeks, I kept saying to my best friend, I was like, I feel like I have ants crawling in my veins. I don't know how to do this. I was so anxious. And then I, again, I, I, I decided to address the perspective and think about how this could be illuminating. And now it feels different. And now I'm really kind of into it. And, and for the last week, every day I wake up before my alarm goes off, which kind of feels like a sign of being rested and happy and, and also do things like this. I'm, I'm doing podcasts from my home office. I'm cooking a lot. I'm hanging with the dog. And I finally am getting all my compost going. And I have this huge, not huge, I mean, it's like a rectangular Tupperware container now that I keep on one side of my sink. And every time I fill it up, I bring it out. And I don't know, there's been something magical feels like it's happening in the backyard with the garden. And I talked for so many years about wanting to get bees. And then like a year, maybe a year, year and a half ago, the bees just showed up and they started building this massive hive in my wood pile. And I was like, oh shit, okay, wow, they were listening. So, you know, again, one of the things I had the opportunity to do being home is I had this incredible organization come out here and rescue my beehive with me. And so we got them into a proper hive and now they have a little home and, and we're working on moving it over to where it's gonna actually properly be. And yeah, it's like, I don't know, there's something about reducing waste again, you know, reusing this stuff, composting, making these shrubs, helping the bees, you know, planting lavender for them. Like, I don't know, it all feels kind of amazing. I'm trying to use all of it as fuel in the tank for when I go up there and, and we're at work 16 hours a day again.